Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to show you guys how to make this fun little flip pocket journal flippity flap. <laughs> it's so much fun. I made it out of a tissue box. So save your tissue boxes, and I'll show you guys what to do. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut it. I just opened it all up, just took all the seams, and this is the main part right here. So let me show you guys. So you just untie your little ribbon here. And it opens up just like that. And we're gonna make a little tag that goes on the inside here with some journaling space on the back. So we'll make a tag out of our tissue box. And, uh, oh yeah, I'll show you guys. I have some fun stuff. My husband, <clears throat> he brought home some uh, of these little uh, cork boards and they're, he just had them at his job site that he was working. He's a con um, in construction and stuff. And it's got stickies on the back of them. So, and he's like, I thought you could, you could use this into your junk journaling. And, and I was like, yeah, I could probably do something fun. And it's not super sticky, so I had to glue. We'll have to glue it. But I thought it would be kind of cool to do it like that. And then I just did a little stenciling on top of it. And with our fun little pocket here, just like this, and you go over. And then when you shut it, you can see it right there. How fun is that? Okay, so this is the little tag we're going to be working on today. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the inside here. And then for the back, I just kept it so we could see the tissue box because it's really pretty. And we got a little pocket back here. So you can put whatever you want back there. So there we go. So let's get started here. This far, and all you had to do is just undo your whole thing, cut the end off. And then also we're gonna make a tag. So I'm just gonna use my tag here. So just put it here, wherever you want. And I'm just gonna trace around my tag that I already have. And I'm just gonna cut this little end part off, the little hump part. And we got a tag and it's got the word on it that I didn't want on it. Whoops. Well, maybe we'll just wind up covering it up. Let's just do that. Yeah. We'll find something. Put something on it. Okay, let's see. So we got this far and then what I did is I just built it up. I just used a piece of just some pretty paper here, there. And then we got our threads. Always keep your threads. These are great to use. Okay, so that's how I stack that up. And then I also have a pretty little sticker here. Just these little sticky things. Mm. Or do we got here? Okay, so we know what we're doing here. Got it all stacked up. Now I'm gonna put in my eyelet. Like that color. Just give it a good flatten. Okay, I have a whole Ziploc bag of just ribbons, all kinds of ribbons. And I'm thinking this one would probably work fine. I think that would look nice. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Oh, 
tall as you want it. I'm just gonna go to angle here. Like that. Okay, so we got that far. I'm just making a fun little tag here. Just got some black soot here. Little fall theme. Uh, maybe we'll do this one. I'm just doing my black soot. tag here so let's figure out something to cover this up all right so I got my circle punch and I wonder if I do a big circle this is one of my digitals and um, I'm gonna use this and the other thing to kind of match it so this is one of my digitals I'll put the link down below so you guys can check it out my Etsy shop but it's uh, really fun it's like eco prints that I did on some coffee fabric and stuff. So it's kind of fun. So I'm thinking, let's just see how this turns out. I want to kind of have the words and just do a punch, right? So let's do this together and see here. But we can do like a half a circle like that. I mean, just to give it some interest. That could be kind of cool. Just to cover that up and I think it'll look great like that. Just do with what we got here. That's what us junk journals do, junk journalers do. I just find things that we got and see how it looks here. So I want the wording. And glue this down like that. But I mean, you can look through your uh, tissue boxes and just make sure you just don't get the words on it. But this is what we're going to do with this one. I did it on this one. So it's, it's, it's able to happen just for some reason I'm on camera right now. So it's, you know, why not? It does what it does, but that's okay. We go with the flow here. We go with the flow here at Snowstorm Crafts. Okay. And yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. And then these are fun little tabs you can use on something in your journals. Okay. So there we go. I think we did a pretty good compromise there. Not too bad. All right. So we got that far. We got to put our little sticker on here. So let's just pop this down. I mean, that's fun, right? have a little bling on it. I don't think I need any glue. It's got a pretty good sticky to it. So there we go. Okay, so I'm just looking at this one and I really like the way it's cut like this and does a fun little just pocket tuck. So I'm trying to line this up here. Let's see where I want it. And I'll have to just trim the bottom up when we're all done. And I want to make sure this can close. So I'm moving it over, you know, I'm making sure that it can close. Just have a little bit of gap if you need it. If not, then leave it. So let's see. And I want to see, I like the height of this pocket. So I'm just bringing it on top of this one. And I'm going to give it a mark here. Just for the height of it right here. So about here. I could probably go a little lower so I can be on that line to be able to cut it straight. That always helps. Okay, so it goes that far over. Alright. And then about here. So maybe this line right here. 
the ball cut up. Okay, and then line it up. And this is the top of it right up here. I wound up cutting this one on each side and we'll do that in a minute, but let's go ahead and glue our back papers on first. We'll just glue this one down, this one and this one. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I did so far here. So I went ahead and glued all the back papers down and I met, you saw me measure all this out, like this part. And then I just glued it on one side over here. And then I'm gonna take this side over here and I'm gonna make this into a tuck pocket. So I'm leaving this part open, open and open. So the rest of it is gonna get glue. So we're gonna go glue down here and like that and up here okay so we're just making like a little corner pocket tuck thing <laughs> i know that's why i couldn't think of a name for this but i will trim everything up like you trim up the top here pocket here and I just kind of tuck it in the corner or you can go just line it up to where you know when you shut it like that it looks cute and you can see it so I think that's kind of fun all right so we got the inside done except for let's do a little bit of inking so I got it all inked around I got it all nice little pocket tuck here that like that and then I just want to decorate the outside on these little flaps we'll do that put a little fun pocket in the All back right. so we're gonna go ahead and decorate our front here and put a little pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that in a time lapse So I was going to do my digital, but I decided to go ahead and just use the pretty paper on the front here. And I did some sewing around it, which is optional. No sewing on this one. And um, if you have any white parts sticking out like this, I can't really cut them because they have uh, the thread sewn on it and it'll mess up that thread. It'll unravel it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit of black soot around it just to cover it up okay so i got that done i'm gonna put just a little pocket here okay there we go now we got ourselves a little pocket so you can just put little whatever little trinkets and stuff in the back so just take a little scrap piece and a little tag to stick in the back and do our closure so I got my crocodile let's see we'll go ahead and just stick with the same color here 
to see where you kind of, where you're going to want it because you don't want it to cover up your little flower here or whatever decoration you do in the middle to peek out. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go about here and then just line it up about here because you don't want them crooked. Press it. As long as you're having fun, right? Okay, so there we go. We got that far. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the same ribbon, just to match, but you don't have to. Like on this one, I did not use the same, and then this one, but they went nice together. So you can do whatever you want, but I was thinking these two together would look, just match it up. I'm just gonna do a little matchy match. Just so it doesn't pull through. Just a loose knot like that. And then you got yourselves a closure. So there we go. Ta-da. We got ourselves a cute little uh, little flip out tissue box booklet. That sounds good, right? <laughs> a tissue little flippy. Because I'm going to add this. I want to add one of these to my little journal I want to start. I want to do a little flip. It's a little, uh, another little uh, envelope file folder here. And do this one on the front. I think it would look really cool. And I'm using some of my bubble. I showed you guys in another video how to make these cool uh, envelopes out of my bubble digitals. And I'll make sure to put those down below if you guys want to come check out the digitals here. And uh, yeah, it's a fun little kit that you can just fold, make a envelope into. And then we just used a macaroni and cheese box. And I showed you guys how to do like a flip, an envelope flip. So I, I want to add these to it and then have some, you know, fun little things. So yeah. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see this video, the process video of me making this cute little file folder flip journal. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Yeah, if you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. These are just fun to make. Keep your tissue boxes. I mean, they're great. They come in handy. You can do tags with them. You could do pockets with them. You could do, you know, keep the decoration. I really like the decorations on them. So that's fun. And if you could please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you guys to see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>